We had an introduction to the Criteria API in our previous tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at it in a bit more detail. Uh, this was the example code that we wrote in our earlier tutorial. I uh, created a criteria by using a session.createCriteria method, and I passed the entity class as the parameter. After that, as an optional step, I added what are called as restrictions. Restrictions are ways in which we can filter the data that's returned by the criteria list method so that we can uh, retrieve just the data that we want. This is equivalent to the where clause in a SQL or a HQL query. So this criteria, uh, you know, allows us to add as many restrictions as we want over here. And then once we're done adding all the restrictions, we can do a criteria.list to get all the values that adhere to all the restrictions that we have added over here. Now, there are different restrictions that you can uh, you can use. Again, similar to um, what a where clause does. We can have equals restriction, we can have less than, greater than, and all that stuff. So we're gonna have a look at that in just a minute. But uh, before we start with the different types of restrictions, I'd like to show you one cool thing about the Criteria API. Uh, this criteria.add, it supports uh, chaining. So what I mean by that is the criteria.add actually returns a criteria object. So let's say we have a huge number of restrictions. Uh, then all we need to do is instead of uh, adding it as, you know, getting a criteria and then doing criteria.add every time, what I can do is in the same line, I can do a dot add again and add another criteria. And then I can do a dot add again. So I can continue to keep adding all these different uh, restrictions. And uh, I can, you know, I can uh, chain them up so that I don't have to move around the object every time. So, yeah, now having said that, let's have a look at uh, some of the restrictions here. Now I have uh, restrictions.eq of username. I'll also add another restriction here, which is a dot add and restrictions. Dot. Now I want to add a greater than restriction. I want to add a restriction where I'm, you know, pulling up all the records where the user ID is greater than five. Again, this is something that we did earlier, but let's have a look at how to do this using the Criteria API. So I have a restrictions dot. Again, if you do a control space or you just press dot, you see all the available options here. Now there is a GE, which stands for greater than or equal to. And then we have a GT, which stands for greater than. So I'm going to use the GT and uh, I'm going to have the property value as user ID. I want to compare the user ID property and I want to pull up all the records where the user ID is greater than five. Again, this is obviously going to end up with one record, but I'm just adding this other uh, you know restriction here so that we know how to, uh, you know, change the restriction as well as the other uh, restriction dot property, I mean the method over here. So now if I run this again, it's gonna give me user 10, okay? Now if I remove this previous restriction, I can, I can just delete this. Now it's gonna get me all the records after record five, there you go, six to 10. So this is the way in which we can add any number of restrictions we want. And as far as the restrictions itself are concerned, we have all the different types of comparators to a control space. You have uh, like, which tells you, uh, you know, um, you, can, you can do string comparisons, you can have a percent and uh, let's say, for example, I use a, a like here, I can say percent user percent. This again works the same way as um, SQL like statements. So this, if you add a percent in the front, it's a wildcard for anything. And then after that, any string that ends with the user 10. So this kind of a like operation is possible. And uh, we have less than, greater than, equals, and uh, the standard comparison properties. So, you know, just to have a look at um, the available properties, you know, it's, it's covered most of the things that you would do in uh, a normal SQL comparison when it comes to the where clause. 
Well, let me just demonstrate a couple of them quickly. So uh, let me use the the like username, and uh, I want to pull up all the records where the username contains user space zero. Okay, so uh, it it excludes user ten, but apart from that, all the other records are included. So there is also this uh, between. So you can you can get all the records in between two values. So let me choose uh, say five and uh, I don't know fifty. Okay, uh, yeah, I have to give the give the property name. So I wanna I wanna get all the user IDs between five and fifty. So it takes three parameters. The first parameter is the actual property that you're comparing. And then the second and the third parameters sets the range between these two numbers. So what is going to be the result here? Now I'm going to have uh, this is going to give me uh, six to ten because we have only ten records, and then this is going to restrict so to uh, user zero. So user ten is not going to get displayed. So let's test that out. Hmm, guess I don't have any uh, records with zero. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. You have, it's just the number. So let me do something else here. I will add one. So it's going to return me just user 10. Yeah, user 10 is returned. So both these criteria are in place. I thought that they were uh, 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on. But since it is... Uh, just one, two, three, four. Uh, that was why the previous query did not result in any records. So yeah, this is a, this is a high level view of what restrictions are and how we can use all these different methods in uh, restrictions to add to your criteria. And of course, you can uh, chain them up one after the other, and then you know you end up in one criteria object with all your criteria added to it. And then when you do a criteria dot list, you end up creating the query which you know which uh, takes all your criteria into account and then returns the records and uh, before we wind up this uh, video there's one more point i'd like to mention here uh, all these criteria dot adds they are actually doing a conjunction so you, you just have a and criteria so you have a restriction of this and a restriction of this so it's it's equivalent to a and in your where clause. Now, what if you want to do a or? You want either this restriction to work or this restriction to work. So if any record satisfies either of these restrictions, then pull up the record. So say you have a requirement like that. So how do you manage that in the criteria API? So the way you do this is by using a restrictions dot, let me move this down. So you, you have to add an or clause. You want restriction A or restriction B. So in that case, what you do is you have a restrictions dot or. So here, what you can do is you can have criterias inside. So I can have two criterias here. Okay. So what I can do is I will have restrictions dot. Okay. Let me do a between okay and uh, one more restrictions dot between so what i'm doing here is i'm adding let me remove this so what i'm adding here is i'm adding a or clause in this where clause so this will work like this. So it's going to check if any record satisfies this restriction or if it satisfies this restric restriction. If it satisfies either of these, then it's going to pull them up. And the reason why you're doing an or is by default, if you keep adding restrictions to the criteria, it's going to assume it's an and. So it's going to return records only if all the restrictions are satisfied. Now, if you need this or kind of a restriction, then you do a restrictions.r. And inside that, you add as many restrictions as you want. Now, here, I will do something like this. I will have a user ID, and I will return all user IDs between 0 and 
3 or if the user ID is between 7 and 10. So since it's an R condition, okay, it's asking for a closing parenthesis. Yeah, and there's one more required. So this one is for the criteria dot add. This one is for the restrictions dot R, and this one is for the restrictions start between. Okay, so now what's going to happen is it's going to return records which either satisfy this restriction or this restriction. I'm sorry, it is this one or this one. Let's run and validate that. Okay, it's a case. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, so these three users are the result of the first R between one and three. And uh, these four are the result of the second R between seven and 10. So this is how you add R conditions in your query. And uh, if you're just using and you don't have to worry about this, you just keep adding a with a dot add.